welcome back to my Roblox channel. Now before we get going, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. So in today's role playing video, I'm gonna be getting adopted by fairy godparents. Oh man, I can't believe my mom's leaving me. And now that terrible excuse of a babysitter, Nikki, is coming to babysit me. I'm getting ready to leave, Kenzie. You're not gonna come and say goodbye to me? Mom, please don't leave. You know I hate it when you're not here. I have to go, Mackenzie. I'm sorry. I'll be back in two weeks. And you better behave yourself when I'm gone. And please don't cause any problems for Nikki. I mean it, Mackenzie. Can you please get a new babysitter? Nikki is the worst. And she's always so mean to me. See, this is what I mean. Nikki is so nice. And she's the best babysitter in all of Brookhaven. I better only hear good things from her when I'm back. Or you're grounded, young lady. Ugh, okay, Mom, fine. All right, I gotta go to work now. Nikki will be here soon. See you in two weeks. I love you. Two weeks with Nikki is gonna be the worst. Oh great, the devil's here. The door's unlocked. Hey twerp, are you watching TV? Yeah, I'm just watching my favorite show, Cobra Kai. Well, not anymore, you aren't. Give me the remote. Wait, but... But nothing. I'm in charge now, and you know what that means. Start cleaning the house, dimwit. What? But those are your chores. And these are high-quality pictures of you stealing from the grocery store. Wait, what? I didn't do that. I would never steal. Well, Photoshop is for. <laughs> now, you either listen to me and do as I say, or I will send these pictures to your mom. Ugh, fine, you're the worst, Nikki. One eternity later. All right, I'm done with my chores. What's for dinner? Why are you asking me? Do I look like your personal chef or something? Let me answer that for you. I'm not. But I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten all day. So that's not my problem. I don't care. Oh, would you look at that? It's your bedtime now. No, it's not. It's only 5 o'clock. Well, it's 8 o'clock somewhere, so go to bed right now. Unless you want me to show your mom those pictures. Oh, fine. Meanwhile, you guys did a terrible job with Timmy Turner. But now that he's all grown up, you must move on and be fair and godparents to a new child. And if you do a terrible job again, I will make you both go to Fairy Academy for 10,000 years. <gasps> years? That's longer than we've been alive! Silence! Mr. Jorgen von Strangleman, sir, we promise we won't fail again. Our next child will be happy and live a great life! We shall see about that! Your next assignment is this young girl named Mackenzie Turner. Her mother left her alone with an evil babysitter named Nikki. And she's very sad, so I need you two to go there and make her life better. Ah, no! Please don't send us there! Nikki sounds so scary! Cosmo, you idiot! She can't hurt us anyways! We're fairies, remember? Oh, right! Shut up, you fools! All right, Mr. Jorgenman, sir! When do we start? Right now! Uh, who the heck are you guys? And why are you in my room? Be quiet up there! I'm trying to watch The Bachelor on Brookhaven! Eee, she's so evil! Shut it, Cosmo! So, who are you guys? We are your fairy godparents! We can make any wish you want come true! Wait, what? Anything I want? Well, not anything you want. There are a few rules. Rule number one is that you can't tell anyone about us. Yeah, 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 sure, whatever. Can I have a brand new iPhone 12? Uh, of course you can! Oh my gosh, you guys are the best! I can't believe this! You gotta be very careful, though. The other rules include not getting greedy, not asking for money, and no breaking up true love. <laughs> Do you understand, Mackenzie? This is very serious. Failure to follow your rules can cause you to lose your fairy godparents forever. Yeah, 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 I promise. Whatever, what could possibly go wrong? All right, excuse me for a second. Sky, guess what? My mom just got me an iPhone before she left. Oh my gosh, girly, you got the iPhone 12? It's so fancy. Okay, I'm gonna sneak out to come see you. Why do you have to sneak out? It's only 6 o'clock and it's still sunny. Ugh, my mom left me with the devil, Nikki. Oh no, you'll never make it through <laughs> Not funny, Sky. Okay, I'm gonna sneak out. I'll see you soon. Do you want me to cause a distraction? No, no, no. I'll be good. Okay, bye. Hey, can you guys teleport me to Sky's house? Of course we can. We can do anything. Then what are we waiting for? I want you guys to teleport me to Sky's. Not inside her house, Cosmo. She can't know Mackenzie's fairy godparents. You imbecile. Oh, right. Silly me. Let's try that again. All right, Mackenzie. Do you need anything else before Cosmo and I leave? Ooh, the best is electronic scooters available. Coming right up. Oh my gosh, you guys are the best. Call us if you need us. There's a special button on the back of your phone to reach us. Have fun with Sky. Now, come on. Let's go, you knucklehead McFace.
a Tron. Hey, girlie! Oh, my gosh! You got a new scooter? Oh, boy, you're lucky. I wish I had a new scooter. Well, today's your lucky day because this one's for you. Oh, my gosh, Kenzie! This is awesome! Let's go ride around the city! Whoa, Sky! Look at that Lamborghini! They're parked outside the ice cream store. Come on, let's go in! Oh, my gosh, look! It's the popular kids sitting over there. They must own that Lambo. Oh, they're so cool and popular. Come on, let's go. Sky, 
guys. Some of us would never do that. Come on, what are we waiting for? Let's take it for a spin. Etsy, over there, look. Time to become popular. Come on, let's go inside. Whoa, is that your car? Yeah, it's Mackenzie's new Lamborghini. Yeah, I bought it this morning. Do you guys like it? It's so bad and bougie. Wow, girl, we didn't know you were so rich. Wait, you think it looks bad? Oh, silly, Mackenzie. In this case? You have a lot to learn, girl. That's confusing, but okay. Girls, your outfits are so cute. Where did you get them from? Well, my mom got me a whole new wardrobe from all designer stores. Yeah, I just borrowed Mackenzie's clothes. Oh, wait. So Mackenzie's the rich one and you just borrowed her stuff? That's lame. Mackenzie, come on. Come play with us. Sure. Can Sky come play too? Uh, sorry, but this is only a three-player game. Sky can go play something else. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. We'll be over here when you're ready. Stay. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go home, Kenzie. I'm tired. Plus, I feel left out. Oh, okay, Sky, suit yourself. See ya. <laughs> so, what are we doing tonight, girls? Well, we were gonna go to a party, but it got canceled. Maybe you should throw one instead. Oh my gosh, yeah, I'd love to. Oh my gosh, awesome, girl. Well, why don't you go home and set up, and we'll be over later tonight. We gotta go home and get ready. All right, I'll text Sky about the party. Don't worry, good Sky. We'll pick her up on the way there. You guys are the best. All right, I'll see you later. Later that night. Cosmo, Wanda, you're home so soon. Where's your friend? Oh, she decided to go home, but don't worry. She's coming over later. Anyways, I made a long list of all the things I need for my party tonight. Wait, you're throwing a party here? Yeah, and all the popular kids are coming. But you'll just be making big friends who'll only like you for the stuff you have. So I'll be super popular and everyone will love me. Anyways, it's time to start wishing for all my party favors. All right. So we will need a butler, speakers, party food, a DJ, and fancy cars parked outside. Is that everything? Oh, just one more thing. We're going to need a massive mansion and a pool. All right. <gasps> Uh-oh. Huh? What happened? It looks like our wands have been shut off. By who? <laughs> huh? Where are we? Oh, no. We're in fairy court. Huh? Fairy court? Silence! He's so big and scary. Who is that? He's our boss. We have found proof that your child has been too greedy. Uh, what's happening? The fairy world is suing you. Don't worry, Mackenzie. I'll be your lawyer. Oh, goodness. Mackenzie Grace Turner, is it true that you have been asking for things nonstop so you can gain popular friends? Uh, yes. That's it. I am taking away your fairy godparents. No. cool stuff. I can still be popular. Ew, your house is so mediocre. I thought you would at least have a mansion. Wait, where's Sky? Who cares about Sky? She's a nerdy loser. Yeah, Sky's not popular, honey. If you want to be like us, I suggest you ditch that loser and unfriend her. I don't want to be like you guys. Sky's my best friend. Fine, you're lost, loser. Oh no, I gotta go find Sky. I hope she's not mad at me. Sky, I know I messed up. Please, I can't lose you. What do you want, Kenzie? I'm sorry for getting carried away. I realize how fake those girls are. I don't care about those stupid things. I was just being selfish. Yeah, you were. You hurt my feelings. You're my bestest friend ever. I promise I'll be better. I promise I'll never do it again. Can you please forgive me? Ah, uh, you know I can never say mad at you, girly. Best friends forever? Forever and ever, Kenzie. Meanwhile... See, Mackenzie's an amazing child. She just got carried away. I promise it will never happen again. Can we please return back to Mackenzie and leave Fairy Academy? Never! My decision is final! Now give me 10 million more jumping jacks! Huh? Where am I? Mackenzie! So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to comment down below which Brookhaven roleplay video you guys want to see me do next. And congratulations to Taylor Place for being our post notification winner. If you guys want to be our next post notification winner, all you have to do is turn those post notifications on and comment done when you're done. And always make sure to like